Hi, I'm Brenda from Alberta Quilter. Please stay tuned for today's tips. Today I'm going to tell you about um, using quilter safety pins. Why would we use quilter safety pins instead of just using straight pins, which you can see um, here on my board? Well, let me tell you from experience, of course, because experience speaks louder than anything. Um, I have stabbed myself with these quilts, uh, these quilt pins on numerous occasions, and you can imagine getting stabbed by this in some body parts where you are not expecting to be stabbed because um, you're merrily quilting your quilt. So therefore I had to find another solution. The next solution, of course, was the quilter safety pins. Now the quilter safety pins um, has a nice curve to it, as you can see here, and, um, and it closes really nicely and easily and it's got a nice curve. So when it sits in the three layers, it sits very nicely and can be nice and flat. So I recommend that you um, buy yourself at least 500 when you're actually doing a, a queen size quilt and you start in the center of your quilt and you mark out probably a three finger width and you you pin three uh, three fingers three fingers and you kind of from the center you work your way out and you work your way up and you work your way down and then you fill in um, the rest of the quilt as you go now um, that sounds like a lot of work it is but it is worth it because um, once your quilts are um, uh, secured, then it's easy for you to roll them up and uh, maneuver them underneath your your quilter, your quilting machine, which is, you know, your domestic uh, long arm or just your normal quilting machine that you have at home. So the other tool I have to show you here is called a quick clip. So now you have 500 um, safety pins all in your, in your quilt. And how on earth are you going to get these things out and um, save your fingers? Well, first of all, it is good to have a thimble. This one's just a rubber one. And what happens is, is that when this is in your fabric, it's in the fabric, you close it up nice and neat then when you come to take these out, these notches here, you, they just s slip in and it's a quick and easy opening. As you can see, my lines are opening as quick and easy. But yeah, it's a quick and easy opening and you can quickly pull them all out of your um, quilt once you are done. Now, the other thing that you will need if you're going to do your um, quilting on your by yourself without taking it to a long arm quilter is what we call affectionately known as bicycle clips. I'm sure some of you might have had them when you're a, a child and um, you know you didn't want your pant leg to get caught in your um, in the spikes of your wheel uh, of your bicycle so you just clip this around your leg uh, wrap your your um, your pant in it. Well this is the same kind of principle you basically are rolling your pinned quilt up on, um, you, you roll up your pinned quilt, and then once you've got it all nicely rolled, you just put the clips around it, and it holds it in place. And that way, it's easier for you to um, um, pull it out underneath your machine. You don't have all this drag that's hanging on the other side. And um, yeah, it's a great little inventive tool that us quilters are very glad that we have. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching us. Please join us next time. If you would like to know more about the products that I love and I have used in these videos, um, please check out the comment section below and of course, like and share my videos. Thank you very much.